Hi everyone. This video is a short tutorial showing you a tool that I use daily for my business. Once you get this tool, snag it, you will not believe how you live without it and you will not believe how often you use it. It literally saves you so much money and it helps you in so many ways. Um, I was able to find it for $15 on this site, workeasyjob.com, snag it. And if you just come to the site and click here, you can pick it up for $15. I did, and when you first install it, you'll get a little button like this on the top. I personally don't like this because I keep, um, I keep hitting it and when I'm trying to move tabs, so I personally move it over here. But let's learn more about what this does. It, this is an image and video screen capture tool and basically anything that appears on your screen you can capture it doesn't matter what window you're in if you're in Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer basically it just captures what you have on the screen and then you can manipulate it and add to it like text and arrows and dollar signs and little creatures and all that fun stuff to personalize it and to use it. These images that you capture are awesome because now you can use them for your blogs, for your newsletters, for your publications, for your sales pages. Just basically if you can see an image you can grab it and you can use it for your um, for your business, for what you need. So first off I want to show you how to do a little um, inspiration message, like a little Mimi, super fun, always, always needed for any social media posting because, you know, people are, are more um, engaged with images and like to share it. And if you can put your little website name on the bottom, then, you know, score for you. Okay, we are now on Pixabay. And I love the site because you get free high quality images you can use anywhere, like the title says. And I grabbed a quote earlier before we started this video. And this is the quote. So I'm going to make my own Mimi and I'm going to say, hmm, that sounds like a grass kind of quote. An image that looks, would look good with grass grown underneath it. So why don't I find a really cool grass image? Um, what about this? Four leaf clovers. Okay, noted. I know that I can just download this picture on Pixabay and then upload it back to whatever editing tool that I have. But I prefer to do it this way. I will take a picture of this. I'll for lack of a better term, snag it, and look at this magnifying gap glass. It shows you exactly where your crosshairs are landing, so you can, you know, crop this or snag this with really good precision. I apologize for me not being able to. I'm using a wireless mouse, so let me think. Okay, close enough. Then I'm going to snag right here. Okay, then I want this as a picture and it pops instantly open in my Snagit where I can manipulate it even further. So say I want to add some text and like this I can grab any style. I can do it with a border. I can do it with, but let's just do text without a border. I grab that put it here, this is where I want my text, and then let's grab my text right here. And this is just way too dark, so why don't I change the color to white. Okay, and I bet you can look a little bit better with some shadowing, so tools, let me see, no, wait a second. shadowing the whole thing. Oh, it's right here. Effects. Tools. Effects. Shadow. 
see how the text gets some shadowing. Like this. Uh, I kind of want it like this. Okay. Very subtle. And say I don't want this to be so big. And in fact, I don't like this font at all. I'm going to choose a different font. Look, you have a huge assortment of font. Let's go this one. Okay. So let's go here. And say you wanted to add some branding, like your website, you could add it here. Or say you don't want to ruin the picture. And this takes a little more work but I wanted to show it to you but go like this and look you have a nice little um, transparent area that you can add whatever color background um, basically manipulate it the way you want to and it's all in one program so once you start mastering this program you're gonna have you know a great time and it's gonna be super easy for you to use for your business um, let me see. We want to take some more. Oh, why don't I color it first? Let's say I'm going to do a nice yellow. Okay. And then I'm going to do more fonts here. Uh, let me go. So see more quotes at www.yourwebsite.com and say we want it at that different font, say a bold baluster. Okay. And we wanted it centered or Say we want it to the, you know, left or right, whatever. I don't know how I managed to do this, but let's change it back. Shouldn't be too hard. And let's say I want it fully baked this time. And I want this really small. I want this out. And I want it to be white, like I said. And I want more tools, which one of them is shadowing. Okay. And then we tend to forget that happiness. That happiness doesn't come, come as a result of getting something. Getting something we don't have but rather of recognizing okay like I said this is really quick and look say I just want to be a little different and I want to put it off to this little tilt notice how I did that okay Let's tilt this, and then when I get these, then I know I can move it around. Okay, and then file, save as. You can save it as a standard format. Um, let's save it as um, snag it test or demo. Save, and now you have it on your folder, and you can put this image anywhere you need. Um, you could probably use your own imagination and figure out where you could put it. You can use it for social media. You can use it for a blog post. You can use it for a sales page. All that good stuff. Um, one other thing I want to show you on how this can save you money on graphics. Say you're looking at the latest product launch or latest sales page and you're like, hey, this is a really cool graphic. I think I would like to use it for my own. So you could snag a picture of it. Now, you need to deal with your own copyright issues, but it is here, and now you can use it and say, I wanted to 
make this area um, transparent. You saw how I selected the fill. Go like this, and I pour. Mm. Nope, I want to make it transparent. Look, it makes it transparent here. And say I wanted to change this into a blue. Ah, oh, what color am I going to make my fill? Um, I don't like any of these blues. Let's make it bright blue. There. And I go. It's not perfect. And you do need to work it a little bit. But you can see the possibilities. So this is one of the many reasons I love Snagit is because I can man manipulate pictures. I can grab graphics I need and change them to my will instead of trying to find a packets pack, you know, a graphics pack and all that good stuff. So if you're looking for an awesome tool that is deeply, deeply discount, um, here you go. Check out that website that I showed you right here and um, pick it up. Like I said, I don't know how long this site will be up offering this, but um, go grab it if you're um, interested in it. Have a great day, everyone.